Welcome back. We are now doing lab 400. And in this lab, we're going to learn how to use some calculations and use some different visualizations to narrow a meaningful story in this data set. So navigate to the Visualize tab if you haven't already, and go over to this plus sign. Here, we're going to add a calculation. Let's give this new calculation a name. Go to the Name box and let's call it activity log scale. Just as we did previously, you can search in here and it'll pop up some of the functions. So if you search in LOG, the log function will come up. So let's do that. Let's look at the logarithmic function of the total number of snippets. So in the expression area, we're going to search in total, which searches the columns, and total number of snippets comes up. Click on that, and let's validate the instruction by pressing the button down there. So it's validating, and we're all good to go. So hit the Save button. You can now see it's under the My Calculations folder over here. We're now going to go ahead and clear our canvas. So you can go to the menu up here and hit the Clear Canvas button. Let's see how this activity varies with date. So if you select by activity, it's already selected. Hit Control or Command, depending on your computer. And right click, and you can hit the Create Best Visualization option. This will automatically create the best visualization. And in this case, we get a graph starting from November 2015 all the way through April and, and later spring of 2016 of this activity. Now. Let's say we want to look at this visual side by side, or one on top, one on the bottom. How do you do that? So if you go over this visual, you can uh, right click and then hit copy visual. Now you can uh, control V or control and then paste, whatever works best. But these are side by side and not the best visual. We're going to move this down to the bottom. And so just like that, you have a top and a bottom visual for easy comparison. We're now going to open up Cool Cart Sales Data to get access to some of those columns. And remember, because they're joined, you can access either Cool Cart Sales Data or DAS Social Feeds. You can add both. So let's sync this up with revenue and compare that with the activity. So what we can do is you can move this revenue column in the Cool Cart Sales Data and actually replace the activity log. So you can go ahead and do that. And voila, you can see now that we have revenue by date up top and activity by date at the bottom. Let's further analyze this by adding the different categories of products. And you can do that by adding the categories over here to trellis columns. Now everything is subdivided according to their category, and you can, you can see that here. But let's do a consistent analysis and do the same thing for the activity log scale by date. Move the category over to trellis column. And now we can see a top and bottom comparison of the exact same time frame, making for easy analysis. What do we find? Well, despite our social media campaigns, the activity for clothing and shoes tends to be pretty flat. And also the revenues correlate with that as well. Let's look into the sentiment of the social media activity. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let's look at that sentiment. So we can copy this visual by hitting Control C or right clicking and then hitting copy. Let's realign this canvas so we have all three stacked on one another. Okay, so let's look at the sentiment, and we can do that by changing some of the inputs. Let's go to the DAS social feeds data set here and select percent positive tone percent neutral tone and percent negative tone. 
and let's drag the three of those into where activity was and replace that. Let's now change the type of graph. So you can go to line. This will open up all the different options. Let's change it to an area type. And now let's open this up for further analysis and hit the max visualization button. And here we have all the sentiment data. Now this is interesting. It looks like in March and a little bit later in January, there seems to be a large spike in negative sentiment as indicated by these blue area graph. Let's look into why that might be the case for electronics and computers. Let's go back to our visualization screen and minimize this. And so let's go to the DAAS social feed category. And let's select indicators and total number of snippets. And we're going to want to pick the visualization here. Let's see a tag cloud. Um, that might give us an insight as to what people are saying. So let's select tag cloud. OK, here it is. Let's maximize it. Now that it's maximized, let's hone in on electronics and computers to find out what people are saying, what their sentiment is like. So select in the left-hand column, select mentions category. And let's drag that down to filters, just down here. And this will come up with all the different columns. But we want to select specifically electronics and computers. So let's do that. All right. And let's continue filtering more. Um, let's filter by date. So if we select date and then move that also down to the filters area, we can add that. And we noticed there was a lot of negative sentiment in January to April. So let's filter by those dates. Let's go from January 1st, 01, 01, 2016. And let's set our end date to be the end of April. So 04. And great. Let's click outside this box. And let's even filter it more by determining negative sentiment and, and use colors to accurately show that. So let's go to percent negative tone. And let's drag that to the color box. And looking at the results, we can see that defective, delivery, and, and recall are frequently mentioned. And looking at the darker color, we can see customer service and media also are, are seen as well. We can share these insights with the team. Now, let's finalize this project and let's share some of the insights. We'll first go to the Narrate tab. Let's now add this other canvas to our story. Let's now give this canvas a meaningful name. So if you d we can double click now on canvas two. And let's change the name to social media sentiment. Great. And so now let's add a description. Um, so go down to the social media sentiment panel and let's ensure that description is checked off here. This enables this to be shown. So now we can enter a description that goes over our findings. Great. And now let's navigate back to the clothing and electronics canvas. Here, we can go ahead and save our progress by hitting the Save button up top. It's saved, and so now we're going to present our findings by hitting this Present button. This now 
removes all the editing sections from the interface and now you can convert your insights into a dashboard style presentation mode. You can see the other canvas by selecting this blue dot down there to see the social media sentiment. And this is a great spot to present our findings. But we're now going to exit out by hitting the X. And we're now ready to share our visualizations. We can do that by going up to the menu up here. And here you can have the option to download it as a file or directly print it. And before we conclude this lab, let's briefly discuss the panel over to our left. This is the data panel. The general area allows you to adjust the logistical parts of the, the Narrit canvas. Adjustments right here allows you to make tweaks to the UI. This is the filters area. It allows you to add or manage any filters you may have. Here's the notes. It allows you to have an organized format for all the notes that you've created. And last but not least, we have the presentation section. This allows you to manage the presentation and the storyboards and canvases, and including an auto-hide feature for certain elements. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, you've com successfully completed Lab 400, so props to you and I look forward to seeing you for Lab 500.